So at the next level is the conditioning level, which is the subconscious. So we've just spoken about the conscious, and don't underestimate, you know that picture we had years ago about the iceberg, and the top 10% was your conscious, and the bottom 90% was your subconscious? There are loads more layers. But for the moment, the conscious level is your thoughts, the subconscious is your conditioning. When we're really, really young, from the age of seven it starts, we are conditioned by our parents, our teachers, our friends, then it moves on to our employees and employers, and, and everyone we, we meet. And what happens is that we become conditioned into the personality that is us. But a lot of the time, it's inherited beliefs. It's somebody else's beliefs. It's your teachers, your parents, your friends. So we inherit other people's beliefs, and they become who we are. They're called sub-personalities. And then we have experiences. And our experiences, then we look at them, and we interpret them. And then sometimes they work for us. But sometimes we've got to revisit them, because they have conditioned us into the person that we are. So what you have to look at is, first of all, the conscious level changing your thoughts, and then you have to look at the conditioning. What are the habitual patterns of thought? What am I doing all the time that is not working for me? And change the conditioning.